on today's episode of This Old Homestead, a hayloft ladder. So, we got all that hay up there, and um, Amanda's been using it and getting it down. And now she's asked for a ladder because uh, this little two-step ladder, you can tell, doesn't really get you very high. So we're going to see about putting a ladder um, more permanently fixed, uh, probably in that space there. I'm just going to do some measurements now and see about how we want to do it and what will work best. These goats won't leave me alone. Hi. So we'll see how it goes and maybe we'll get a ladder um, so that it'll make it easier for her. So as I mentioned, that, uh, that two-step ladder just isn't very good for getting very high. Um, you can get the stuff at the front, but that's about it. And reaching in to get to the back and get more down or more, more pulled to the front a little little difficult to do so uh general idea is i'm thinking about putting a ladder um kind of putting ladder rungs on one of those uh stud spaces there not entirely sure but um my concern is that you'll be climbing up perpendicular to the the loft and have to reach over rather than being parallel with it and just grabbing that way but um do some measurements see what we think, maybe put some on there and see if that's enough for her and we'll see how it works. Okay, five rungs, 16 inches long. See if I got enough wood. May not be able to tell, but it's flurrying right now, so. It's going to be fun. Okay, got my ladder rungs. Um, I measured our regular ladder and the rungs are a foot apart. Um, I'm not going for exactness here, but that's what I'm going off of. I'm gonna try and do that. Uh, I'm just gonna put that in this space. Um, this space is closer, but the, the way that the overhang is here you're climbing up into that and you'll be hitting your shoulder. So I'm hoping um, using this other space will be a little bit better. So we'll see how it goes. I suppose I can always take them off and move them later. Um, not to mention the fact that I can't actually fasten to that stud because of the way the wall's put up um, at this point. I'd probably have to put some kind of um, side mount um, that I could then put the rungs on. So uh, this other side, um, this other space should work better and we'll see how it goes. Always charge your batteries before.
I'll come back. Hopefully this one's got enough. Like it works well it ain't pretty but it ain't bad am i going to be adding uh master carpenter to my resume anytime soon probably not but if amanda approves and it does what she needs it it's all good So I was, <coughs> goodness, need some fresh air. Um, so we had this big freeze come through, right? And all the chickens, they don't like snow. So they stayed inside for like a week straight, which means a lot of manure build up in there in the coop. So I was going to, it was starting to get some ammonia smells going on there because then it after that it got really warm like mid 60s warm and so the ammonia is building up really bad in there which is not really good for anybody's lungs so I was going to go turn the bedding and put a fresh layer on because you know we deep, use deep bedding in the winter but turning it would help it to compost which faster which would put off more heat um but once I started turning all that straw I really would well, do you mind you being very noisy <laughs> Once I start, woo! <laughs> Once I started turning all that straw, I realized there's a lot in there, like a lot, a lot. It's just been packed down by the ducks. So I am trying to pull a bunch of it out. Not all, maybe half. Um, and I can't really get it to the compost right now. I don't really have the time at the moment because it's time to make dinner. I thought this was just going to be a quick chore. So I'm just going to pull it out here and make a big old pile for now. And then I'll move it to compost later, but keep the goats out. That's not so fun. They're being a pain. What are you doing up there? That was not built for you. Come on. Go on out. Nope. Go out. Goodness. But anyways, once I pull that out, I think I'm gonna put some of this pine shavings down instead of the straw. So hopefully that'll help absorb some of the excess moisture and ammonia because oh, it is really bad in there. It's kind of burning. I probably should have a mask on, just saying. But I locked up the chicken run so the goats could go in there and stay out of my way. But now all the ducks are like, why can't we get in? Well, you know, I'll let it back in a bit. Are you helping? Are you my helper? Oh, there's another helper. You guys are not helping. Blue, you ready to come back in? <laughs> well, hopefully that will help. As I said, absorb some of the excess moisture and pneumonia that's built up and freshen it up a bit in here. Whew. All right. You are no help. Ornery boogers. Not helping one bit. Yeah, why can't you behave like this when I was working, huh? Goobs.